Oh, I gotta adjust this a little bit so I look I look cooler to you guys. And maybe I'll move this up a little bit for YouTube. I've never done a live on YouTube. Um, what's the word? Um, with um, with my phone before, so this is gonna be interesting. I gotta move back a little bit. Hey everybody. I'm doing a picking workshop right now that I need to, um, what's the word? Um, that's gonna be actually live. And I, I don't know if I can take questions because um, I'm looking on YouTube right now and I don't know why I get questions and answers and stuff. Oh, there's a chat, okay. I've never gone live right now on YouTube where um, I can answer questions. And uh, also I'm on TikTok right now too. So I'm just getting warmed up. I'm doing like a little, um, a little um, what you call um, a workshop, a picking workshop for you guys. So on YouTube it's interesting because um, I've never done it before on my phone. And I've never done this before. You know, um, so someone said more likes can attract viewers. What does this mean? Ha, <laughs> keep it up. Uh -huh. So anyway, guys, I'm doing a little workshop right now. And um, I'm going to do a little picking warm up because this is going to be about today. So if you have any questions, let me know. So, I mean, when I play guitar, okay, um, I, I mean, I mean, I do this subconsciously, but I use mostly economy picking. So I have my seven string guitar right here. And I'll take questions later. So what you know, I haven't touched the guitar all day. I've been running around doing stuff with music, but not like particularly practicing. So when I when I warm up uh, on my seven string, I like to do these little exercises like this. Okay. Okay, this is my little tremolo warm-up exercise. Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, good evening. Someone's saying hi. So, you know what? I'm actually using a pick like this. Um, you know, it's a, it's like a teardrop-shaped pick. It's a heavy, you know, um, pretty heavy pick that I have from Jim Dumlop with my name on it. And it's a great pick to use, okay? And um, I usually use this pick, and I also have an endorsement deal with... Um, uh, with pick world picks and they made me this picks out of these are Delrin as well but these picks are a little different they're even harder they have a warmer sound okay so when i actually pick i'm actually picking at an angle okay guys and girls uh, let me put this up a little bit for you guys more it's kind of going down a little bit okay i'm picking at an angle and uh, i'm going to move that back a little bit and uh, i'm going to move back a little bit so i can see better Okay, so I'm picking an angle. I'm just warming up my right hand for now, okay, everybody? And um, let me move this stand over here so no one sees that. And I'm just doing that. Let me move my camera over for um, for TikTok a little bit. Okay, so you can see my whole guitar. So I'm using this. If you watch my picking. Now, now I'm at the sixth string. Now when I get to my seventh string, I don't pick at this angle, which is like the George Benson picking technique, okay? I'm picking straight because I have a round wound string. If I do a round wound string, uh, if I pick at an angle like this, you hear the scraping? And um, what happens is the scraping actually is noisy. So I don't usually do that when I'm actually playing my uh, seventh string on the seventh string. Okay, I'll, pi I'll pick straight. Also, when I'm doing a guitar with round wound strings, I pick straight. So we're talking about pick styles today. So I mean, I usually use uh, you know economy picking, which is a combination of you know alternate picking, which is down and up or up and down. Okay, and I usually do it at an angle. Now, we could, there's all kinds of uh, approaches to picking, everybody. 
So um, one of the things I can I like to do is, um, you know, you should be able to figure out all the different approaches to picking. So people pick straight on the string like this. You see that? And some people do an angle like this. Now, you know, and, uh, and they pick like that, okay? And some people, and, and people like George Benson and some uh, other guitar players, like myself, pick, pick at this angle with the pick going up like this. Okay. So, I mean, if I'm playing a round wound string, I'll pick straight because um, the round wound string has a winding sound like this. And you can't really pick sideways. Hear the difference? Hear that scraping sound? So that's like a, that's kind of a, not a great sound to have. So when you have a round wound string, so I'll pick at this angle on the round wound on the on the uh, flat wound this way because so, I can get a lot of speed like that. So I'll do I'll do a lot of uh, that's a that's a nice warm up right, right I'm doing right now where I'll, I'll start off warming up with my right hand or my picking hand. And pick as fast as I can. With dynamics. So now I'm picking straight on this string. Okay, uh, so you know I haven't touched the guitar all day so I'm actually warming up and showing some pick styles right now. For YouTube and Instagram, and um, so I mean, and TikTok. Sorry, guys. And I'll take questions at the end, you know. Um, but so uh, I'm switching picks right now. So what I'm going to actually do is, um, you know, I'm going to take questions. Oh, Bobby Broom. Someone said Bobby Broom. Yep, Bobby Broom plays like that. And Bobby Broom is one of the guitar players that plays sideways like that. Okay, is that Bobby Broom there? Okay. So anyway, uh, play some Bobby Broom. Okay, I don't, I don't know any Bobby Broom stuff. I know who he is though. So, hey, everybody. Oh, th Ron, thank you. Someone's saying thank you. Thank you, um, Arturo. Okay, great, thank you. So, um, for example now, so I'm doing like alternate picking, but another thing I like to do is sweep picking. So, sweep picking is when you actually hit two strings in the same direction. Or three, two or more strings, actually. that a lot when I'm taking solos and stuff so right now I'm getting warmed up so I like to do these exercises like this like you could take a like a C scale on any on from any string or any scale actually and you could just if you if you know your guitar neck well enough you could do like two notes at a time like a, like like two like a C and E and go up the scale I'm just doing a warm up now these are I'm actually sweeping, just going. See, I can't, on the seventh string, it's weird. So I'm going to um, sweep now with, with triads. guys for making great comments over there on YouTube and on this uh, and on um okay and on uh, TikTok so I'm just warming up I'm doing a C major scale that's all I'm doing nothing really fancy or crazy just going up the scale so I'm, this is a sweep going in one direction I'm going down okay where the pitch is going up actually so you can actually go Sweeping this way and sweeping back up that way. So I'm just uh, do, doing a little warm-up exercise to show you what you do, what to do when you want to sweep pick. That's one exercise you can do with sweep picking. I mean, there's so many exercises you can do. So I can go. Um, I can take the same shape and go up. So let's go to the first um, the first three strings. So I can go up. I'm doing 
the same shape in the same, uh, you know, going up. I'm actually going up, going up, which is down and up. You can go all the same direction. Now the, the, the goal is when you're doing sweet picking is to separate the notes a little bit more. to do it just separate the notes more so when you're actually soloing the notes sound separate could be any shape I'm just doing a major shape right now it could be minor so I'm just doing a little exercise to warm up my my sweet picking the goal is to be able to go something like this to go down a scale like this. Although I'm I'm just doing a basic. It's kind of like a like a fake fake notes I call them because I'm not really I'm just playing real fast stuff but it's not really anything musical. But, it's, but it looks really cool, you know. Now I'm only doing three notes, but you could do two notes. I'm just doing two notes there. Now you could do four notes too, like I like to use this major seventh shape. So this is actually a G major seven or it's like major seventh shape. Like this is F, A, C, E. You could go up the neck like that. Okay guys, hold on, I gotta charge, plug my phone in, the other one, because it's starting to go low on the battery. <laughs> it's plugged in now. Is it better now? Uh-oh. So uh, let me make sure this is plugged in correctly. Now it is. Woo! You guys are saved on, on TikTok. <laughs> so I'm doing a warm-up. Now, um, let me take a couple of questions. So that's actually sweet picking, guys. And um, I like to do sweet picking a lot. And I'm going to go talk about the next thing, hybrid picking, when I'm actually playing things together with my fingers and pick. Um, oh, Cape Town, South Africa. Thank you, guys. Um, any advice for bar chords? Um, I'm talking about picking today. So if there's any questions about picking, you know, um, you know that would be great. Um, if there's any questions, let me see my some of my comments now on YouTube. Uh, live chat. Let me see the live chat. The visible. Oh yeah, let me see the messages. Oh good. So hey, uh, man from Oz, great to see you. Great, great guys. I'm trying to see the messages I have here. Hello, Ron. Um, I'm here to get inspired uh, and learn something. That's great. Okay, and uh, I'm just showing you some basic techniques right now about, um, you know, um, sweet picking. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm not really playing for you. I'm just doing exercises. You're supposed to do this stuff really slow. You know, um, you're not supposed to be playing real fast. Like uh, right now, it's kind of hard for me to play and talk, you know, because I can't really concentrate because I'm talking at the same time. So, I mean, what I'm, this is a major seventh exercise for sweeping. Yes, Ymir, Ymir, you're everywhere, man. <laughs> My student Ymir is watching. And that's the Ron Jackson sweet picking. Like, no, that, you know, who I learned that from was Rodney Jones. And, uh, he, you know, it's like a George Benson pick, sweet picking lick. So, um, so um, this is just a sweet picking exercise. You can just go one direction. You can go. And that's kind of fast. And you can do the same shape across the neck. And, and uh, I'm just using the same shape. So you can mix that up actually. So you can go. And I, I have a seven string. Now, um, this is a good exercise I did. Um, I did an article for Acoustic Guitar Magazine in the January issue. This is the magazine I write for these guys. And um, what, uh, oh, I forgot to take this off. So in this magazine, um, if you look closely, um, you see that? Um, 
And this magazine actually, um, I did like an article about sweet picking. And uh, this is a really good exercise that goes like this. It's great for your sweet picking, it goes like this. So you actually go like this. Take this shape, one, two, three, four, but you go across four strings. And then you you, you sweep down and switch ship to switch the shape around. And then you go across. Let me show you on my sixth string, it's probably better, so you can see it better. So if I go to my sixth string. Guitar. Now this is different from my seven string, so you can see this better. Now on this guitar, if I have thinner strings, I use a thinner pick, okay? Like I'll use this Jim Dunlop. This is like a medium, okay? And then if I, uh, then, then, I then I'll use my Pick World pick, which is blue, which is a medium Deron pick, and. Um, I have 12s on this guitar, just so you know, okay? And on my on my 7th string, I have 12, uh, th 14 on top gauge. So, so the heavier the string, the heavier the pick I use, okay? And the lighter the string, the lighter the pick. So this exercise is called, uh, I, I don't know, uh, there was a special name for this exercise. exercise for your for your left hand to warm up it's a really great warm-up exercise and you do this shape like this you see that one two three four go across the strings okay like that and then you do the same thing across the strings one two three four like this one two three four and you and you pick you do sweep picking with the same exercise and then you go across exercise for your picking and your left hand. Now you can do that same exercise and keep going up the neck. I went up one fret. time to do that exercise and your goal is to be able to see my hand is a little hurting me a little bit I haven't played the guitar all day believe it or not so you can do it fast like this I'm gonna use my lighter pick to get a little bit more speed you can go see what I just did it's a really great exercise for to get that speed with your picking and sweeping you see that? It's really good for your coordination of your left hand too. Woo, so that's really a rough workout for your left hand, but it's a really good warm up. And it really helps your chops when you actually play, when you need to really play fast. Okay, so I'm sweet picking right now, and those are some sweet picking exercises. Let me see if I can take a couple of questions. Um, there's some questions on um, on um, TikTok. I call it sweepy deeply. <laughs> oh, oh, so someone's asking what kind of guitar this is. This is actually an Eastman guitar, guys, and everything's backwards on YouTube and um, and Instagram. I mean, and on uh, TikTok right now. Sorry, I, I I stream to Instagram a lot. So um. It's an Eastman uh, uh, T49D uh, uh, D slash V Amber guitar. And they're great guitars. I endorse Eastman, you know. And um, if you want to check out my Eastman stuff, just go to my, um, I have a store on Amazon. 
And you can check out my guitars there. I, I have a little uh, flyer here. Where is that thing? And I'll show you. You can go to my Amazon store right here and you can check out Eastman Guitars there at Ron Jackson at Amazon.com slash shop slash Ron Jackson Music to check out this guitar and other guitars right there, okay? Um, also, I mean, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, um, I, I do. I am taking donations, gifts from um, from uh, on on uh, TikTok, and if you want to, uh, you know, on, on uh, YouTube too. So I mean, uh, if you want to uh, donate or something, and you're enjoying my show, you know, just send me something on PayPal, Ron Jackson Music, Venmo, or Cash App, okay? And you could do that here too on TikTok. If you're enjoying the show, you can give me a donation out there. That'd be really great. Okay, at Ron Jackson Music. So let's continue. So, um, so that's sweet picking. So that's really good if I want to play fast. Now, you haven't seen me play today, really, because all I'm trying to do is warm up. You know, and that was a good warm up for my left hand. Okay, and um, you can, I can do all kinds of warm ups. So I'm using all sweet picking kind of stuff. The reason why I do sweet picking is because I don't just pick every note or sweep every note. I mix it up like this. I'll go. I'll, I'll mix up the alternate picking with the uh, sweet picking. Okay, but also I do economy picking. So at the same time, I'm doing uh, economy picking is a combination of, of sweet picking, alternate sweet picking like this, oh, and alternate. I'm picking every note there and hammer on a pull up. Okay, so I mean, there's some great exercises to do hammer ons and pull ups. That could, that could be a whole session itself. And uh, one of the good warm up exercises I used to use for hammer ons and pull offs is just doing this exercise, a classical exercise where you go, you can go like. Start on the fifth fret, for example. You can just go hammer on and go across each string. So I'm going one, two. And back down. So what I'm doing is I'm doing hammer ons and you can do pull ups. But I'm just doing between adjacent fingers. You could also do with your first and third finger. And uh, second and fourth. And backwards. So those are hard to do. And uh, you know you can do all kinds of combinations. I'm just mixing them up on four. Backwards. These are just left hand exercises. Legato we call that in music, or uh, we call it hammer ons and pull offs on guitar. You know, legato is like, imitates like a violin kind of like playing, you know, into each note like that, you know, whatever. <laughs> so when I'm actually playing, I'm doing a combination of, of all of that. Hammer-ons and pull-offs, which I was just warming up on. And I haven't done the exercise in a long time. I need to practice that. And that's a really good classical exercise, but don't be careful, everybody. When you're doing my exercises, don't overdo it. You can hurt yourself because I mean I'm I'm in pain a little bit now from doing that. Sometimes it's better not to even warm up or practice too much because it can really mess with your playing if you do it too much. Like if you practice a lot, then you go do a gig for like four hours, your hands are gonna be in pain. So just make sure you you pace yourself when you're practicing in general. Okay. So I'm I'm actually so what I'm doing now is I'm, if I'm taking a solo. 
What I'm doing is I'm mixing up. What I'm doing is I'm mixing up the sweet picking, the hammer ons and pull offs, and alternate picking to play fast. To play a phrase, you can even play faster when you're doing all this combination and everything. So that's called economy picking. And that's the picking I use a lot when I'm actually soloing. You know, I don't actually pick every note. I'm going to put a little bit more um, low register on this thing. It's kind of um, weak in um, low register. And then, um, so I like to, um, you know, um, answer a couple of questions here. Let me see. Hold on. Hey, there's no questions there. <laughs> So hey everybody YouTube, how's it going? I'm just doing a workshop. Um, you know, uh, let me see what some of the messages are here. Hi from Sicily. The Rod Jackson Sweeplick. Oh, thank you, uh, Yumir. Oh, you're welcome for the helpful content, uh, Lucas. Mel from Oz, great to see you. I love your short vids. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, great, great, great. Everybody, thank you for watching. Um, so uh, what was I going to say? Um, oops, sorry. Um, so now, um, so let me show you. So when I'm actually uh, playing as well, when I start doing walking bass lines and all kinds of other styles, uh, you know, I don't play with only my pick. I use my fingers. So um, I'm using hybrid picking, what they call, what, what it's called. So I'm using my pick and whatever fingers I want to use on my uh, on my picking hand. Now, in Acoustic Guitar Magazine, where I write for, we always call picking hand and fretting hand because we don't know if you're left-handed or right-handed. So this is my, my picking hand. I mean, my picking hand is my right hand and my fretting hand is my left hand, even though the camera's backwards on you guys. It look, looks like I'm left-handed. I'm not left-handed. Okay, so, um, so when I'm doing things like walking bass lines, like this. and playing the string together like this with my right hand you see that so that's what I call I mean you know this is what I actually do a lot when I'm doing I don't I can actually pick every note too at the bass line I guess but it, I could do the comping and the bass line at the same time so I can have cool rhythms with the comping at the same time You hear those syncopated chords on top? Syncopated means off the beat, on the off beat. So I can do that with my fingers, remaining fingers. I can actually do that with my pig. It doesn't sound the same to me though. It's a little harsher. I have to work on it a little better to make it clearer. So I mean, when I'm doing a lot of stuff like that, I'll use hybrid picking, okay? If I want to do an arpeggio, like, kind of like... I use my pick. I, I guess I'm good enough to be able to do it with my pick, too, but sometimes I want to go... picking for arpeggios too, like that. So I'll use my picks to do that, but I can actually play with my pick too if I have to. Okay, well, one good thing with hybrid picking I like to do is I actually do like bossa nova rhythms, you know, like uh, Brazilian kind of rhythms like this. Now, 
I'm using my fingers and my pick to do that, to make it more effective. But actually, I mean, so, I mean, we talked about sweet picking, um, uh, alternate picking, economy picking, which is a, a combination of sweet picking, uh, alternate picking, and hammer-ons and pull-offs, legato. And we're doing about we're doing something with hybrid picking, but also I know how to play with my regular fingers too. I mean, you know, um, and we I also can play with my thumb. I used to play with my thumb a lot at one point. So I mean, you can, I can. So I usually use classical technique when I use my fingers. right now um, to play and uh, you should be able to play with your fingers what if you lose your pick you should be able to play with your fingers um, yeah no pick don't get picky now <laughs> so um so I can play you know I can solo with my fingers too it's not as good and uh so when I'm doing that actually uh, everybody um, when I'm soloing with my fingers only I'm using a lot of my left hand, so it's doing half the work. Because if I pick every note, sounds kind of stiff, doesn't it? <laughs> to me, I have to make that smoother because I don't play with my fingers that much. So I'm using my left hand a lot. I, I have a lot of control with my left hand. So I like to use a lot of those kind of techniques, a lot of, um, you know, hand-rounds and pull-offs by left hand and right hand, pick without a pick. You should be able to do all that kind of stuff, actually, when you're playing in general, everybody. Um, you should be able to mix it all up and get some cool sounds. Let me fix this camera a little bit for you guys on YouTube, because <laughs> uh, I look like my head's cut off here. Uh, so, <laughs> um, you know, so I, you know, I'm, I'm doing these cool workshops for you guys just because people have been asking me about picking techniques and I just covered a lot of stuff for you. So, I mean, you know, I've been into all kinds of styles of guitar playing, so I do finger style. So there's all kinds of guitar playing that, you know, guitar is a big world, man. So I like to do things like, I like to do the things like this. should be able to uh, pick up do, uh, doing you know be able to do different kinds of styles on the guitar that was actually one of my original songs and it's I, I, let me show you guys this before I forget I have like an all acoustic guitar record if you ever want to go pick it up it's actually you can find it on my YouTube channel because you know I'm a verified YouTube um, page and you can find all my records actually some of them on my YouTube channel playing this is a, my all acoustic guitar record called Acoustic Invent Yours. And, uh, and uh, I, on TikTok, everybody, my music's on TikTok if you want to listen. So go check it out and, you know, check out my music. It's, just search for Ron Jackson, okay? Um, and that's one of my songs called Old Country Road. Now, I'm going to take a few questions about, about picking. I need a drink of coffee here to wake up here. So anybody have any questions? Um, let me go look right now on TikTok. You love my work. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for loving. You're an inspiration. Thank you. I'm trying my best, everybody. What kind of uh, picks do you recommend? So, 
I use pick world picks, okay? So, um, let me see who said that. Um, my, uh, I can't see that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, um, just so you know, I use pick world picks, okay? They, you can put your own logo on it, okay? There's a great picks. And, uh, you know, I put my Ron Jackson music on there, you know, and they're great picks. Um, they make all kinds of picks, you know, and uh, you can check them out online. I endorse those guys. And uh, um, now someone said I only play acoustic. So, uh, yeah, so I play acoustic too. So you can play anything on acoustic guitar too. So it's okay. You can use picks, fingers, anything. You know, so th th there's no uh, there's no problem playing acoustic guitar, okay? Let me check out my messages here on YouTube. Let me see. Uh, let me see the live chat here. Oh, okay. Uh, alternate picking on jazz guitar is so cool. Live from love from Finland. Hugs from uh, from Sicily. The sweet blick. Okay, good. Now um, let me see some other questions here on TikTok. Um, I recently bought an electric guitar. But I can't uh, really uh, get on with any um, get on with any it any tips. Electric guitar. Well, you know what, everybody. Just so you know, um, you know one thing I missed when I was a kid. I mean, I had some friends, fortunately, growing up that helped me learn how to play guitar because I was self-taught. But the thing is, if you want if you want to really get into guitar and playing, you know, looking at videos, looking at me on YouTube. On YouTube and TikTok is, you know, could only take you so far. You know, the best thing to do is study with somebody like myself or someone, you know, if you could afford to study with me, of course. <laughs> and uh, and I, I make deals just in case you know, you want you know you want to learn with me. And also, you can go to my website ronjacksonmusic.com uh, and you can get some lessons there for a couple of dollars each if you want to learn some stuff, you know, about scales and stuff. But the best thing to do is study with a teacher. To really help you, or have somebody who is a friend that can really show you how to play the guitar, you know. Like I have some friends who are pretty good guitarists, you know. I mean, for for a kid, and they were able to show me when I was about eleven how to start playing guitar. So the best thing to do is not not not, not to look at YouTube videos because when you look at YouTube videos, like me helping you right now is great, but you know that's not going to help your playing as much as someone who's going to teach you how to play the guitar. Okay. They can look at your guitar, look at your playing. I hear everything I do wrong, because I'm a teacher too. And I, and the best thing to do to hear if you're doing anything wrong when you're playing is actually recording yourself. When you hear a recording, um, hey Jamaica, <laughs> someone from Jamaica, Jamaica, someone's watching. Oh, Jamaica where? Jamaica Queen. So anyway, um, um, the best thing to do is record yourself. The the recording never lies. I'm telling you, when you record yourself, you'll hear what you, what you need to practice. So, the best thing to do is get it with a friend if you want to learn how to play guitar, okay? Electric guitar, acoustic guitar, whatever you play. And um, get a teacher, you know? Get a teacher. I still study, you know? I've been studying with great teachers for years, on and off. When I could afford it, when I couldn't afford it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm teaching, I'm studying right now with a drummer who's a great drummer about rhythm. You know, those are things, there's a lot of things I need to work on. Um, so, uh, <laughs> okay, cool. He's in the country, not in Jamaica. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me see. Um, great. Uh, let me see. Uh, so let me see. There's some other questions here. I know you. I think I know you like my work. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of picks you recommend? Um, I only pick no pick. How I play the guitar is beautiful. Any good questions, guys? Oh, let me see. I, here's a question down here at TikTok. Hey, Ron. Oh, it's Tomoko. She's just saying hi. Hi, Tomoko. Is my friend Tomoko from Las Vegas who used to live in New York? Here's another message here. Okay. Good day. Um, I know uh, Dr. Hooks Silva's mother. Who's that? Dr. Hooks Silva's mother is A and E and D, but I can't work out the riff from the beginning. Oh, you got to send me a direct message. Um, you know, uh, 77, whatever your name is over there. Because I don't know what you're talking about, that song. I don't know this song. So send me a direct message, okay? How many hours do I uh, uh, practice a day? Well, it, it, if you want to get really good, everybody, you got to practice as many hours as you can, <laughs> basically. Um, I don't practice enough at all, for example, because um, I'm just so busy with like music work and 
a lot of music business and videos. I do a lot of videos for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, um, and Facebook when I cross post. I mean, I just take so many hours just doing these videos. But I used to practice five to eight hours a day, especially when I was like younger, you know, in college. I would practice five to eight hours a day, man. So, uh, hey, wh why, uh, why are you ripping uh, any nasty riffs? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, you need to practice a lot of hours. But if you don't, if you can't practice a lot of hours, try to practice every day. That's the whole point, okay? Uh, someone's asked me, have you heard of Gregory Porter? Of course. I have friends that play in Gregory Porter's band. Okay. Um, Emmanuel Harold is the drummer, and I've worked with him. He's a great drummer, and I did recording sessions with him before. He's a drummer in, in um, Gregory Porter's band. Now, someone was asking me, pandemic. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the pandemic, this is a pandemic, everybody. And, uh, you know, I just got my, I just actually got, um, well, you know, I don't want to talk about that, but I just got my, my first dose of vaccine. So everybody can get a vaccine so you can actually, so I can go and do some gigs for once and not play for all, you know, it, uh, on, on live. But anyway, um, you know, uh, this is a time to practice if you're at home all the time, everybody. So practice if you can. Try to practice as much as you can. Um, you know, the most important thing about, I've been teaching for years. I, remember I told you videos only help you so much. What you have to do is you have to practice every day consistently. Only practice things you can't do. Don't practice things you can do because you can already do them. You only practice things you don't know because that's how you get better. You don't get any better by playing the same stuff every day. Same, whatever, you you know, whatever. Just just play something you don't know. Let me see. Uh, um, hey, he came into the music store and I worked at, at, and I sold... Uh, him a pedal and they gave me tickets to the show. What, what's this now? Uh, this is a funny, uh, that's a funny uh, remark there. Yeah, so anyway, pandemic, have you heard of Greg Porter? Okay, so now, so you know, I'm going to keep going here. Any questions in the YouTube here? Uh, if uh, one finger had to uh, go besides well, your left hand, what would you take? You know what? I was watching Django Reinhardt the other day and he played with only these two fingers, man. So I could let me try it. Back to my third finger there sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. strong okay <laughs> hey what's that nasty riffage yeah so um what i'm doing is i'm just using my two fingers like Django reinhardt so you can actually do it because Django reinhardt did that i was watching him playing a video the other day you know on youtube i'm watching youtube videos a lot because i'm up here you know I'm, i have a lot of followers on youtube but now and but but you know they start putting all these things on your feet all these great guitar players i'm going oh man i gotta practice so <laughs> so i mean i saw Django. he's like fingers guys so you can do it you have four fingers you should be able to play twice as fast as Django Reinhardt so you can use them so you should be able to play with four fingers like that fast if you practice of course <laughs> so good question uh, whoever you were about uh, you know if you had a finger missing so uh, I would I would give up the fourth finger or third finger but you got to be careful okay uh, play something nasty oh, I like this guy I will in a minute. Hold on. Uh, let me see. This is this another question. Doc Watson played with just a thumb and pointer finger. I, that's amazing. That's true. And you know, Wes Montgomery played with his thumb like this. He used to play like this. He had a big guitar, like my seven string over here. So you can play with the thumb. Right now, 
I mean, uh, um, I'm okay at it. I don't practice that too much. So that's one picking technique I forgot to tell you about. So you can use your thumb, your fingers, hybrid picking. This is all a picking session today, okay? Um, there's so many techniques you can use on the guitar. Now, the most important thing to me is like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist, and even though I can't play perfect, you know, I try to play with the best possible sound and notes I can, and thumb I used to work on, but you know, so many p techniques to master that that's really hard to do. So, I mean, I'll, I'll throw out the thumb. But you know, I can play that better with my... using my thumb but thumb has a nice sound to it so that's a good way of playing with your thumb uh, let me see uh, have you ever done any tips for flamenco style I mean you know what's really funny I used to go to Spain a lot at one point and and I've seen Paco de Lucia and I have a really good friend he's a good friend of mine um, on YouTube he has an app called learn flamenco guitar check him out now I don't play with my fingers like that so I mean, I can play with my fingers, but you have to have special nails and all that to play flamenco style. I mean, I could talk about flamenco style a little bit, but that's a whole different world, you know, like uh, that I know, don't know about. But, you know, check out my friend with Learn Flamenco app on YouTube and Instagram. His name is Dan Garcia, and he is really good about that stuff. His app's doing good. But I could play, I could fake flamenco for you. <laughs> funny um yeah uh totally different yeah but i love flamenco stuff and i love acoustic guitar playing i have a bunch of acoustic guitars here you can't see them right now and uh you know flamenco is flamenco is hard yep flamenco is a really hard style and you know you have to have certain fingers and um you know i think you've shredder face i had a shredder face earlier that's some good flam and uh, they call me fake flamenco duck <laughs> so uh, um yeah so flamenco is it's a whole style it's like jazz you know, Spanish style, you know, it's like blues in Spain. You know, I've been to Spain many times, actually. So um, it's a great style, you know, but I don't know that style as well. You know, it's hard to keep up with one style. And uh, what's a good lesson to practice speed? So a good lesson to practice speed is practice with a metronome. I don't have one in front of me right now. And speed up your tempo so you can relax, okay? The most important thing is to practice it and be relaxed so, you know, you... You, you can't be stiff. You know, like, ah! when you're playing fast, you gotta be relaxed. You gotta be like oh, sleeping. So what I mean, if I'm playing fast. I've got to make sure I'm relaxed and that, uh, and you know, and you don't get stiff. It's hard because sometimes when I'm playing real fast in a band, it's really hard to play relaxed, okay? Because it's really fast. Sometimes we play really fast tempo tunes. Let me try and show you something. Uh, I have my, I actually have my play along thing here. Let me pick up a song that I like to play fast. Let's do Cherokee. Uh, just for fun. Oh, it's not too fast this tempo. Let me try it at uh, 300. So I'm going to do a tempo of 300 so you can see how you play fast and um, with this recording. Thank you. 
should be but I'm, I was doing a tempo of 300 which is like 150 half note so 300 beats per minute so um that was just one course I was doing a play along and what you have to make sure you have some if you're gonna play fast another good suggestion I forgot to mention is if you're gonna play fast you have to have some licks worked out okay like fast licks so I have these like sweeping licks I went like this <laughs> And I have a lot of licks that I know. So I have all these licks worked out. Now I've been, you know, I've been playing for a long time and I, I practice a lot. So, I mean, I still need to practice. I still practice. So you have to have a lot of licks worked out if you're going to be playing that fast. Now that's a great question. You know, so you have to be able to have a lot of licks uh, and work out your licks um, and you know, make sure you know, we're talking about picking. You got to have really good picking. And so you know, you just, I mean, this is not even like the guitar I use now, really. Uh, this is just a guitar I used to show people, and I do recordings with this guitar. But I used to use my seven string. Let me show you. So let me get my seven string guitar out. And uh, guys, I forgot to mention, please, if you're enjoying this, um, I'm taking donations of a dollar or more at Ron Jackson Music at PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. Or Zell. So, you know, if you want to donate, please write this down. You know, uh, also, uh, you know, on TikTok, if you want to do that, donate a dollar or more. Um, you know, that would be great. Here you go. And, uh, you know, I saw on TikTok that you, you, you guys give gifts. So, look, for all the advice I'm giving you. Now, look at this. So, this is another guitar I use. So, that guitar I was using a thin pick. So, I'm not used to this guitar as much to that guitar. I'm used to this guitar, so if I'm playing fast, I'm playing a seven string right now. So if I'm playing a song that fast, I'm gonna go back to the top of this song, and I'm gonna play Cherokee again on this guitar. So you should be able to switch guitars and still sound good. Uh, let me see. A metronome, yes, very good. Someone said a metronome, yeah, of course you practice with the metronome. So I practice with a metronome a lot, and then also I've been practicing with a drummer for my timing. You know, he's having me do these crazy exercises where you talk, where you you tap your foot, you count the beats out. Actually, you say the beats and the and the subdivisions like one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, or one and two and three or whatever one one pellet, two pellet, three pellet, four pellet. Those kind of exercises, so I get really the timing down. So if I'm playing like a song like Cherokee, let's do this again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, the song Cherokee going 300 and just doing some licks that I know that work and um, You know, I just play right through it and try to play, um, you know uh, What's the word? Uh, you know best I can to play in time, etc What's a good quick lesson to practice speeds? Yeah, so awesome. Thank you. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see some of these comments on YouTube right now uh, Top chat. Let me see live chat Yeah, so um, wow I'm just looking at these things right here to see who's talking to me on YouTube right now. I can't uh, figure out how to use this thing still yet. <laughs> um, let me see what. Let me see one more thing here. Top chat. Yeah. So anyway, everybody. Um, so those are the picking techniques. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably stop right now. I've been going for like almost an hour. But thank you for watching. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, definitely please subscribe on YouTube. You know. Now I'm putting more of these long form videos up because I need to put more longer videos on YouTube because I have a lot of short ones that I have on TikTok because I have a lot of followers on TikTok and Instagram. And I'm trying to do some di some different stuff, you know. So um, what I'm doing is, um, you know, trying to do some of these questions that people ask me but do a live session and answer some of the questions. So it's great to go live and also I have a lot more viewers and stuff like that. And so please definitely subscribe. I always have cool videos coming out. And um, if you want to study with me or anything, um, you know, um, I have this uh, a Patreon account that I just started, actually. Um, and uh, you can get six or seven string lessons from me there. Um, let me show you right here. Here's my Patreon. Um, I have a bunch of patrons now. It's on my YouTube channel, too. But, you know, if you want to study Patreon lessons, I'm, I'm offering lessons that start $3 a month. Okay. Uh, and you can learn some cool stuff up there at Patreon, Ron Jackson, patreon.com slash Ron Jackson, okay? And um, you can, if you want to stay with me, definitely uh, DM me on um, TikTok, okay? And also, you, know, you could just, you can find me everywhere. You can go to my website, ronjacksonmusic.com, and learn some new stuff. But this is a good warm-up for me, you know? Um, I, I don't practice as much as I like to do, so I'm kind of warming up for you guys, you know, uh, in, in person, and I can talk to you at the same time. And try to help you guys out. But remember, always try to play with people. Find a good teacher. You know, watching somebody on a, on, you know, on a video, you know, only can take you so far. You have to really study with somebody. Because I've studied with a lot of great people. Uh, Pat Martino. I've hung out with George Benson. Uh, Melvin Sparks was a great guitar player. One of my mentors. Uh, Ted Dunbar is a great teacher. Taught a lot of great guitar players, including Bobby Room, someone mentioned earlier. Bucky Pizzarelli. Um, and look. Just a lot of great guitar players. There's some some I regret not studying with, like Jim Hall, John Abercrombie. I could have taken lessons with those guys, um, you know, um, that I, but I didn't unfortunately because um, I thought I couldn't afford it. But you know, sometimes it's worth paying the money to somebody to study just so you because you know you'll regret it if they if they happen to pass away or you you know or you don't have time later. So just study, you know. That's how you get your stuff together. A lot of the great guitar players. I'm telling you, uh, you know, one of my favorite guitar players is Steve Vai. And um, he's a guitarist that studied with Joe Satriani. And, you know, that's how he became a great guitar player. So, you know, he, he thanks Joe Satriani all the time because he was his teacher and really taught him a lot of good stuff. You have to have a good teacher to help you be, be a good musician. And, you know, you have to have a mentor. And I've always had good teachers. And I'm, I have a lot of great students that I'm trying to help out that, you know, they listen to what I tell them to do. They become, they become, some of these guys are professional musicians now, really great guitar players. One of my students from high school, he was a high school student. He went to uh, University of Southern California. Now he's a top session guy. So, um, you know, thank you everybody for watching. And um, I appreciate you guys. And uh, keep in touch. And, you know, please follow me. Uh, let me just look at a couple more questions here um, before I get out. Bucky just passed. Yeah, Bucky passed away. He died of COVID, unfortunately. Almost a year ago. I want to do a tribute to him um, on April 1st when he passed away around that time, okay? And so, uh, thank you guys. It was really fun. And, um... You know, if there's any questions or anything, you know, there's a playback on YouTube, okay? And um, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm, I'm tired now from all this. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Let me hang up now, if I can. Let me see. I've never done this on YouTube before. Okay. Yeah, yes, and...